If you want to know the best war movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 1970s. We have the proper facilities to take you all prisoner. Sorry. What? We'd like to, but we can't accept your surrender. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Cross of Iron. He comes, Transky, you are not alone. I am trans What do you mean I'm not alone, sir? I am alone! I am alone! Cross of Iron is a 1977 war film directed by Sam Peckinpah and stars James Coburn, Maximilian Schell, James Mason, David Warner, and Senta Berger. Set in late 1943 on the Eastern Front in World War II, the film shows another side of the war not commonly portrayed in Hollywood movies. Sergeant Rolf Steiner is a well-respected member of the German military. But when a German Hauptmann gets jealous of his awards, a fight of rivals begins as both compete for winning the Iron Cross. Captain Stratsky! Where is your counterattack? We are attacking! We are defending! We are counterattacking! <laughs> Number 9 Tora 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 is a 1970 epic war film directed by Richard Fleischer, Toshio Masuda, and Kinji Fukusaka, and stars Martin Balsam, So Yamamura, Joseph Cotton, and Tatsuyo Mihashi. This dramatic retelling of the tragic U.S. war historical event explores the days that led to the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. As Japanese and U.S. relations strain and collapse over the short period of time, we follow the devastating truth that U.S. officers did not believe such an attack would happen. And so the citizens and soldiers of Pearl Harbor waited in blindness. Alert! All commands! Air raid, Pearl Harbor. This is no drill. Number 8. The Tin Drum. Und die haben wir schon viel gehört. Wie schön du das kannst. Nicht wahr, Kinder? Unser Oscar ist ein guter Trommler. The Tin Drum is a 1979 German drama film directed by Volker Schlondorf and stars David Bennett, Mario Adorf, Angela Winkler, and Daniel Obrixki. This exceptional satirical war dramedy explores the rise of Nazi Germany from the eyes of an angry child. Unwilling to ever grow up as he observes the hypocrisy and injustice around him, he miraculously gets his wish fulfilled. Now remaining a child, he is obsessed with beating a tin drum incessantly and screaming in protest at the chaos of war. Nun wollen wir die Trommel im Klassenschrank verwahren. Sie wird müde sein und schlafen wollen. Nachher, wenn die Schule vorbei ist, Dann kannst du deine Trommel wieder haben. Na komm. Du bist aber ein Beser, Oscar. Number 7. Kelly's Heroes. That's a five hour operation. Can you hold on for five hours? Over. No, no, move. Oh, no, move. Kelly's Heroes is a 1970 war film directed by Brian G. Hutton and stars Clint Eastwood, Telly Savalas, Don Rickles, and Donald Sutherland. This entertaining hybrid of a classic heist caper and exciting battlefield action subverts the typical World War II setting by offering pointed satirical comedy. When a colorful and crazy group of soldiers finds out about gold hidden in enemy territory, a mission of life and death begins that exceeds casualties when everything that can go wrong does. Attack, attack, attack! That's the kind of fighting spirit that I was talking about! Listen to that guy! If he was a major, he's a colonel. Hey, Gary, listen! This is the Grave Diggers Registration Unit. We got a stake in this advance, too, you know! Did you yes, ever hear enthusiasm deal. like that in all your life? They even got the damn Shut Grave Diggers in there! What the hell am I doing here? here? Number 6. Love and Death. Have you heard the news? Napoleon has invaded Austria. Why? Is that a Courvoisier? Love and Death is a 1975 comedy film directed by Woody Allen and stars him alongside Diane Keaton. In director Allen's comedic and cynical take on 19th century Russian philosophical novels comes the journey of helplessly lost coward Boris, who is forced to join the Russian army. As a simple villager, his chances are low, but by a weird accident, he becomes a war hero. 
Now his life is turned upside down even more. Well, check with you when it's over. I'll be in the game room. No, Boris. You're going to fight. I'm going to fight. You're going to have your head examined. We leave the day after tomorrow. Number five. Johnny got his gun. The difference is that we control our daydreams. And the dream that comes at night controls us. Johnny Got His Gun is a 1971 drama anti-war film written and directed by Dalton Trumbo and stars Timothy Bottoms, Jason Robards, and Donald Sutherland. As disturbing as truly dramatic, this is a journey of trauma and endless pain. When soldier Joe was heavily wounded in World War I, he nearly completely lost the ability to live his life. Trapped in his body as a cage he can't escape, he now finds hope in a charismatic nurse that may help him finally put an end to all this. First, tell me just one thing. Are you and I really here together? Or is this a dream too? It's a dream. How do you know? Because I'm a dream. I don't believe you. Nobody does. <laughs> Number four. Patton. Send him up to the front. You hear me? You goddamn coward. Patton is a 1970 epic biographical war film directed by Franklin J. Schaffner and stars George C. Scott and Carl Michael Vogler. Set during the 1940s, Patton follows the story of General George S. Patton, a tank commander serving in North Africa after America's defeat in the Kasserine Pass battle. Due to his temper and stubbornness, General Patton often finds himself unable to follow orders. The movie explores the general's controversial tenure during World War II. I don't know how this is going to be received, General. Praying for good weather so we can kill our fellow man. Well, I can assure you, sir, because of my intimate relations with the Almighty, if you write a good prayer, we'll have good weather. Number three. The Deer Hunter. Cops. I'll get the cops. Oh, yeah. Help you with that. Oh, you too, sir. The Deer Hunter tells the story of three steelworkers whose lives are changed forever after fighting in the Vietnam War. The phenomenal performances and the outstanding screenplay showcase the absurdity of war and conflict. Michael Cimino captivates the audience with his powerful direction and profound character development. The war drama also marks the first Academy nomination for Meryl Streep. Released in 1978, the movie also stars Robert De Niro, John Cazale, and John Savage in lead roles. You're a fucking bastard, you know that? Huh? Stanley, see this? This is this. This ain't something else. This is this. From now on, you're on your own. Number two. The message. Amara, you're a friend of Anajashi the king? Yes. Can you use that friendship? The Message is a 1976 Islamic epic drama film directed by Mustafa Akkad and stars Anthony Quinn, Irene Pappas, Michael Ansara, and Johnny Seca. This exceptional view on biblical prophet Muhammad delivers a fresh and original taste through its intelligent storytelling. In order to really give the audience an honest approach, the movie is told from the perspectives from the people surrounding the prophet in life, such as his uncle or the leader of Mecca. This delivers a much more three-dimensional vision than any other telling of the story. The souls of men are his sheep. These are Arabs who have betrayed the religion of their fathers. They follow a lunatic they call a prophet. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. What in the name of hell do you... Tell me to put them down, sir. Look, Sergeant, I'm a normal for crapping around. Well, if you don't look at him right now, he's going to die. Dead now. What did Pharaoh suggest? You kept remarkably quiet about it. Much like yourself. Well, it will all come out of the inquiry. There won't be any inquiry. You're disappointed. Is that, uh, is that big ass of hairs move around a lot, Frank, or does it sort of lie there flaccid? What would you say about that? Um. Hawkeye's questioning the Major on a point of anatomy. Very professional, exchanging ideas. Would you say that she was uh, a moaner, Frank? Or... Number one. Apocalypse Now. You're neither. You're an errand boy. Sent by grocery clerks. Apocalypse Now is a 1979 epic war film directed by Francis Ford Coppola and stars Marlon Brando, Robert Duvall, Martin Sheen, Lawrence Fishburne, and Harrison Ford. 
the war movie that formed war movies. Iconic, honest, breathtaking, and thrilling, while giving you an idea of how the Vietnam War destroyed human minds. It is a haunting ride into primal madness, following Captain Willard, who is ordered to find Colonel Kurtz, rumored to have set himself up in the middle of the jungle as a lethal godhead. Could we, uh, talk to Colonel Kurtz? Hey, hey man, you don't, uh, you don't talk to the Colonel, uh, um, well, well, you listen to him. Uh, the man's enlarged my mind. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.